Hello everybody, this is Building Every Dog, and I just wanted to show you how to make an amphitheater in Minecraft. And as you can see, well, in a second, it goes very well into your city. I built mine in a park, but it has red curtains. A big stage five layers of seating and it has ticket booths with windows and it just goes really well into your park or city and you can you can see that we're walking through right now here's the stage prep room can walk out onto the stage through the banners or curtains and there's a path to all the seats and I just really like it and you guys are gonna learn how to do it in this video for this build you will need a 49 by 41 block area on the ground you will need a block of iron Red banner, glass pane, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz slab, spruce fence, and oak wood planks. And you want to come to the front left hand corner of your grid if you have made it. You want to count back by 11. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you want to count to your right by one, two, three, four blocks on the ground. And you want to place five smooth quartz blocks. I believe it's five. Yeah, it's five on the ground and then count right additionally by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you want to place one smooth quartz block on the ground and another one with a gap of one in between one smooth quartz slab on the ground and then three blocks behind it you want to place 12 going to your right with the smooth quartz blocks behind it you want to raise that up Always the stair part. Just like I'm doing. And smooth quartz underneath. You want to place another row of smooth quartz stairs with a gap of one. Um, behind your other row and one up so just like I'm doing and then smooth quartz slabs all along behind that stair those stairs and then fill all that in with smooth quartz And you want to raise the stairs up again. And I'm just going to bite the bullet and go grab some smooth quartz block. Because it's a whole lot easier. And three blocks on the ground. Smooth quartz slab in the middle.
four blocks on the ground. Four on the other side as well. With smooth quartz slabs. And we will repeat this one more time. After this. And you just want to follow exactly what I'm doing. Wait. Oops. And you also want to place slabs there. Slabs on the back. Half a row up. And then a smooth quartz block at the top. And you want to fill all of this in with smooth quartz block and slab. Or, actually, it's just smooth quartz block. Hmm. Kind of confuses me. Um, if you turn slab to block, is it still slab or is it block? I guess block. Uh, you want to just fill all of it in. And then you want to put smooth spruce fence along the left side. And then you want to put smooth cord stairs going all along. And smooth cord block. Fill it all in. Oops. And you just want to keep doing that, and why did I just do that? Then you want to place stairs one row back from your previous, or with a gap of one, should I say. Row of smooth cord stair block. I mean, then fill that in till it's even. And then fill in some more. Get ahead. Put one line. And we're just going to fill it, the rest of it in because it's a lot easier. And you're almost done with the left side. You just want to put stairs there. And, oops, you will need to break all those blocks. I'm sorry, but you'll need to place fence there instead. And I suppose you can keep the blocks, just, um, you might want to put a sign out front saying, Do not jump over the edge. We are not eligible to sue. If you, unless it's just you in the world. Then you're fine. Then you want to come over diagonally by seven, I believe. Yeah, it's seven. Let's just finish that up. 
and then you want to come over with a total of 12 so starting from there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 and then back diagonal by 7 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 Oops, wait, that last one we don't need There Wait There might have been 6 Either way um, over by 12 so that and then line it up with the far left block that we first started with leave the gap of one place a block and then here's the other set of stairs place a row of three smooth cords Place slab, slabs for stairs, because uh, there's a lot of stairs, so I just used slabs. And you just want to copy exactly what we did already did on the other side. And once you do that, we will have the most tedious part ahead of us. And the stairs match on both sides. That's perfect. There's five on that. Oh, one more. And you just want to keep building that up. <laughs> and what I realized while filming this is, well, line it up, uh, line it up and just build a big wall. What I realized while filming this was, so, what I originally did this was a 39 by 49 block area, but uh, that was wrong. And you want to put fences uh, along the side. That was wrong. You need a 41 by 49. And I showed that at the front of the at the start of the video. So hopefully um, you didn't get it wrong like I did. If you did, I really apologize. But you just want to put fences on either side of the stairs, and we can do that on the other side. I forgot I didn't do it on that side. And you want to place a row of smooth quartz. Smooth quartz block. Another row. And you just want to keep doing this until you eventually get to the top. 
which we are almost there. You just want to continue building and yeah. The dark alley on the final row. Oh, it's done. Wait, uh. I really apologize, but we need to break one row off each layer. I'm really sorry. I did not realize that. But at least I realize oops. At least it's not we have to restart the whole thing. That would be kind of annoying. Not kind of, that would be really annoying. If we had to restart the whole thing. That's a whole lot better. And there we have our right side of our amphitheater. Now, just the middle. And you want to place smooth the quartz until it gets worn away from all the stairs. And then you want to place another row for the actual stairs. And once you finish placing the second row, we will do the third row, which you want to layer up. And here's the back. And this isn't really a hard build, it's just, it takes a while. But let's hope I can make builds a lot easier in the near future. And a lot more. And let's hope I can hit a, a thousand subscribers and get a lot of views then I will hopefully start making a lot more videos um how does okay that looks kind of weird so please like and subscribe but it really looks weird oh that's why Ah, there we go. Perfect. But if you could, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Sharing is caring, as I have been told many times from my friends and cousins. And you just want to keep placing the, all these stairs down. There we go. Now on to our third layer. We're almost halfway. And 
and you just keep repeating this pattern until you get to the top well until it's level or flush should I say Um, okay. And you just want to keep placing these blocks until it's flush, like I said. Once you finish this layer, you'll put some stairs down or keep building and place the stairs last. You can do either one. I'm doing the stairs first, but. Sometimes it's easier to do it the other way. It doesn't really matter, it's personal preference. Well, sometimes it does matter, but not often. The chair is being really um, noisy. Shall I put it? Sorry if you can hear that. There, onto the fourth layer. And you just want to keep making this. And building it up. And you keep it building until it's flush. You add stairs, the front or the end. And let me know um, if you have a computer, there's a discussion tab. Um, for some reason, it, the comments are turned off um, YouTube apparently turned them off for some reason but you just um, let me know what game you want me to play out of all the games that I have already played and I will hopefully take your suggestion and I'll I'm sorry guys, um, you can, you don't have to fill all of it in, you can just do the top layer. I'm sorry for making you do that, I've saved us a bunch of time. Well, I'm glad I realized it now, rather than later, but still. I don't know, you can fill all of it in, but you don't have to. Oops. And you just want to keep building up the top layer. You do not have to break corners. Corners are actually kind of good. I know a lot of people will break corners because it looks um, not as good. I break them too, but for this, you need them.
And do you want to keep placing the stairs in the in the formation that I am? If you break the corners, then you can save a little bit of space. It does still look pretty good. But the way I'm just doing it is gap a one. And I mean, you can do it either way. I really don't care. And it does not matter structure wise. I really hate it when you're just spamming on Xbox and it, uh, and it overshoots the block. So you have to do it perfectly on time. And what I just realized now, oh yeah, I already mentioned that, um, we're going over my grid. Hopefully, you made the 41 by 49. Hopefully. If you did not, then let's hope you have extra space behind you. All you need is to another extra box. And the rest of the grid is perfect. So you will not need any more space except for that. I actually went back and refilmed the scene of this. Um, I did the 41 by 49 instead of the 39 by 49. So I tried to make it clear that it was 41, or yeah, 41 by 49. And this is our last layer. Well, the top of it, should I say? And we're almost done with the seating. Then we just have ticket booths, stage, the stage, the floor, and then that's it. And here's the actual last layer. Now we put fence or er, the fences on. And we just put them all the way around. People can stand on top layer if they want. It'll probably be cheaper or more expensive seeing that it's the top, but you have to stand. I don't know, um, it's your build, so you do whatever you want. You can put a sign on ticket booths saying um, top layer for however many. Let's say 20 bucks. Or, I mean, I'm in America, but wherever you are, your currency. For me, it would be like top layer, 20 bucks. Um, first layer, let's say 60 bucks. I don't know how much that translates to in other countries, but that would probably be accurate, seeing that. And you could put literally anybody in this amphitheater. So depending on who the person, who the people are, who's performing, the prices may vary, or they may stay the same. For the top layer, first layer, or middle layers. And we're almost done with this. should have a few more columns to go and then we will work on the ticket booths then the stage then we're done 
and you can completely customize this build if you want to add more layers you can you just need more space and for every layer it's two blocks out or every additional layer should I say I mean you can completely customize that as well you can do like three blocks five blocks you can if you live in England or America or wherever you can make like a um, queen platform like you know those platforms at like baseball games that like important people go on to watch it and it's like supposedly a great view and it's like above everybody else well you could put that and you could also not you could just make it normal the way that I'm doing it or you can completely customize it it's really up to you and three two one and we're done with all the seating there you have your amphitheater seating arrangements you want to come to the front left hand corner of your seat and place some spruce wood coming all the way from my right to left and you want to do six rows I believe out yeah six rows out just checking and You just want to do it from right to left, the very bottom of your theater scene. Was it six or seven? It'll leave a gap of three from, or a gap of the two from the front of your grid. And we will need spruce wood stairs. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. You just want to place spruce wood stairs all the way around your um, ticket booth area. I, don't know. I think it's the ticket booth area. Well, it is the ticket booth area, but I don't know the official term. We want to place iron blocks, leaving a gap of two from that fence. From the two fences. And you just want to make it th uh, three high. Or, well... Too high in the middle, but three high from the outside. And then put a roof. You want to leave the one wall that is facing the uh, seats open because we're going to put our curtains there so that we can jump through. And there you have our stage slash pre-stage room. And you want to place like a little box of iron or um, any, really any block. It doesn't matter. You can do glowstone for all I care. This part does not matter what block you use. It just has to be a solid block. So not sand that will fall.
because you can't have that for a roof. And we only need door, a door and spruce. I accidentally just got rid of spruce. We also need some end rods. And there's one other thing. Blackstone. Right. Blackstone wall. And you can just trade that for some smooth quartz. I do not believe that we need that anymore. And do you want to leave a gap of three from the other iron block box and make another one? The There will be in total of six ticket booths. Or, what do you call them, amphitheaters? Um, administrator booths? I don't know. Ticket like booths. Let's just put it that way. It might just be ticket booths. Either way, um, you want to make another one? Leaving a gap of one diagonal from um, the other two. Then you want to place a column of three going up and then come over to the left hand side. You want to place an iron block box leaving a gap of one from your iron block room. Then leave a gap of three Make it another one. Then you make one diagonally with a gap of one from the previous one. And this is just a simple uh, box with um, a gap of two for a door in the back and then a gap of one for a window. Which reminds me, place a glass on all of the one gap of one blocks in the middle of the iron. And you want to place some end, end, end rods on the ticket booths in the middle, and then for the big ones, blackstone in the middle. And then you'll just wanna fill this one in because you don't, or that gap in because you don't want anyone sneaking in. Same thing here, blackstone, end rod, end rod. Then, another end rod. Then, now's the stage. You want to come out by six, wait no, eight. Then come over, again, this is one of those things that it doesn't matter how far the stage is. You want to fill in the stage. And then we are like so close to finishing. We will need some spruce fence to be placed right uh, hugging the stage. Then some a spruce stair and some more spruce fence. And you want to place uh, spruce stairs all the way around the stage, at least to where you can. And you want to dig all the way around the stage. Everything in the, in the amphitheater, everything grass in the amphitheater, 
that is in re oops. Um, let's just replace that. That was an accident. Um, yeah. If you do that, it's a really easy fix. Just as long as you keep um, the stairs and slabs in your inventory. And again, I say the chair I'm sitting on is making all the noise. So I apologize, but you want to dig out all the grass in the middle of the amphitheater that is in front of the stage. Or, actually, let's just put it this way. Any grass that is in front of the, um, the spruce slabs, or not spruce slabs, spruce stairs, touching the stage, you want to break all the grass in front of it in the middle of the amphitheater. Don't, not ye don't yet break um, the grass in the middle of the fence right over there but you just want to place spruce to fill in everything else the whole middle is just gonna be spruce again I say you can customize it you can make it whatever wood you can make it uh, like oak jungle. I just like the uh, white and dark, the bright and dark contrast of the brown and white. It just looks good to me, at least. But it might look better bright for you. It's your build, so you make it whatever you want. And I'm probably gonna say that a million times, or I already have. Yeah, you can completely customize it. You wanna place two iron blocks leading from the spruce stair to seats. And then, oops. Then you place spruce blocks underneath the fences, the corners, the hard ones, so let's just do those two at the same time. Same with the other side. You will just need to place these spruce logs, or not logs, planks, and then iron blocks. Now for the fun part, the curtains. You'll need red banners to be placed all along. Again, I say, for the fifth time, I believe, you can completely customize it. You can make it blue, purple, yellow, any color of banner. It does not matter. As long as it's banners, because you can jump through them, and it looks really cool. And there you have your personalized amphitheater. I really hope you have enjoyed this build. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And it has ticket booths, this build, a stairway all the way up. It has five rows of seats, a prep room, a stage, curtains that you can walk through, and the best part, you can completely customize it into your own city. So, I, I changed a few things for this one, but still the same thing. But you can, I put this in a park, but you can put it anywhere, and it fits perfectly. And I just wanted to say goodbye, everybody. And I hope you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to Building Every Doll.